Okay, so for today, which is the sixth episode of this app tour, uh, we will introduce this database. So database allows you to create dynamic content-driven sites, manage every kind of content in the entity behind the scenes and display it in a grid or list view. So first, let's talk about upload data and create entity. So on the left top, you could see design and data. And if you switch to it, you would see uh, many entities. Um, here are two examples. And the way to create it is just to click and add. By default, there is a title column and you can add, for example, uh, images. And here, select data type. We could put files. Um, and let's create the property. And there are also other data types, for example, numbers. You can use it to do like sequence. And when I add a record, I can type in a name. Here you could upload your files and uh, under sequence, you could put in uh, numbers. And here I want to use um, our existing uh, gallery entity to show you how uh, other details of this uh, database feature. And for example, now I'm going to add a sequence for this. And on the right hand side, you could uh, use this to define how you want uh, this database to show. For example, properties, you could hide certain properties. Like if I click on hide sequence, then it's not going to show uh, under this current view. And we could do filters as well. For example, sequence is less than five then now it only shows whatever is less than five one two three four and also we could sort for example we could sort by sequence descending so now nine is at the top and one is at the last and uh, here we could switch views as well if i have different views then whatever i do here to filter sort or show properties is not going to affect the other one for example, now I'm at, at a view called new and then I'm going to filter it and say, okay, whatever uh, is less than five shows. Here only shows one, two, three, four. But if I switch back to the default view, the everything is going to show again because these two are different views. And go back to the design, uh, how we could show uh, the things inside our web page is first create a grid view, drag it, and you could uh, define how many uh, grids you want. On the layers, you could see there's a thing called item one, and we could um, drag in things to set up. Like I'm gonna drag an image, and then I'm gonna have text. And Selecting this grid view on the right hand side, we could select a data source. And now I'm choosing the gallery database. And I'm going to link these two with the database. So the way is like choosing the text and then on the right hand side on the content, click plus and then use properties of gallery title. Image, select a source. When you hover on it, there will be a plus sign showing up. Click on that and choose uh, properties of gallery image and let's set it as contain. I'm going to the preview. You will see there's images showing and you could even scroll down. Here we could use the filter and sort as well to control how we want the stuff to show. For example, where sequence is less than um, five and also one thing to note here is we could set um, the gap between the columns and rows if i change it to 10 it's going to be a little bit wider because just now i filter and set the sequence to show only whatever is less than five so we only have four stuff now so now this is what you see 
And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.